everybody and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking i'm truly grateful if you're new to this channel do me a favor subscribe to the channel so we can grow this channel together so guys today i'm in the Havel showroom to show you the high four adventure style suv coming from Havel. let's go and take a look so we're taking a look at the h the high four of the Havel. Havel is a brand that has been is under great wall uh the chinese great wall brand the Havel brand of cars from the Great Wall Group has been making vehicles, especially SUVs, for many years now. Even before some of the major Chinese uh, car makers. So we're going to take a look at this race adventure version of the Havel Hi4. So this is the front view of the vehicle. Let's just start from here. You got LEDs for headlights all around. They went for this round... Uh, um, rounded style and I believe it integrates all the turn signals and all the other light features that vehicles have nowadays so you get this sort of gray plastic trim going all the way from the left to the right of the vehicle you have your Havel badge in here you got a camera here for reading the road and also your 360 degree uh, camera view and if you look at the bonnet it's a very high bonnet so when you're in the car you see the bonnet to be very very high now if you look on the screen if you look on the windshield you see one camera there and a, a, another sensor over there these are for all the automatic um, functions that come with cars nowadays now let's move on gradually to the side i see this very nice it's not really screws it's just sort of a design which is kind of part of the plastic, but makes it look really, really adventurous and robust. Now, let's see what tires this car has on. So it has tires 235, 60, rim 19. So these are 19 rim tires, conventional suspension right there, and some really nice soft plastic in there. I believe it's got some sound insulation there as well. Um, so this is the side view of the vehicle and let me just move back a little bit so you can appreciate the design of this this vehicle i like it it looks really really robust and adventurous and if we come closer you have your windshield wipers and the windshield is not unlike what you have on jeep and other adventure vehicles it's not a kind of straight windshield is still kind of slanted as well giving you a feel of being in a normal car but you are actually driving a tall SUV so as you can see this is the height of the vehicle very very high from the from the ground up so if I put my hand up here down here it's kind of up to my elbow so it's a very very high vehicle just gonna walk around it before I bring you the interior view and on top you have rails that you can mount some luggage on and you get very wide uh, rear view mirrors integrated with blind spot monitor indicator right there and some really chunky door handles that will fit any hand and it closes really nice with a nice thumb sound it's got this nice design here which is really really cool so it's got this line running from the front all the way to the back and it kind of splits here into this nice nice design so overall i kind of like how this car is designed and how it looks it looks very robust and it's very very high so the foot wheel between the tire and the top of the foot wheel is very very high so you would not be scared to take this vehicle into some really rough terrain uh, to satisfy that purpose so yeah let's move on to the back let's look at what's happening with the brake lights so the brake lights stretch from the side of the vehicle all the way to the boot and you also have reflectors here integrated in there are the very bright fog lights that you have you have your parking sensors right there and the design of the brake lights look quite similar to that of the headlights as well making it look very similar both front and back and then you have brake lights integrated under the spoiler which looks really really nice 
This is a two-wheel drive vehicle with the drive shaft being in the front, but it's a four-wheel drive as well. And as you can see, this is a rear view of the vehicle. And if you look down, there are no exposed exhaust pipes, so that's really cool. And with the key close to you, you can actually swing your foot under to open the boot, or you can press there, automatic lift gate with a camera. And once it opens, it opens to this very high boot. Unfortunately, this is not a vehicle that you can reduce the height. So it's actually very high. It's at my, kind of like my, almost my waist level. So it's very comfortable for tall people. But the problem is if you're going to load it with some heavy stuff, you will need to do some heavy lifting, uh, which might not be convenient. But once you get it in there, you got not a very big, boot space but should be able to carry quite a number of suitcases and some other heavy loads and when you lift the false floor you have a subwoofer there and some tools and little pockets here and there where you can store other things so that's really nice you've got some tie down hooks here there four of them all around and some here as well so that's that's really nice and to to shut it you just press that nothing new there and it closes relatively fast as well and i'm looking at the side profile from this angle it might look better because we got better lighting coming in from here it looks like a really nice design i really like the design of it and Again, if we look down here, you got the normal suspension, nothing like air suspension or anything fancy. You got your uh, really nice looking rims. I like these rims, the way they look. You got your brake there, really exposed and nice and easy to, to wash clean. And down here you got uh, your fuel cap. So 92 recommended fuel here in China. It's 92, 95. 90 yes 92 95 so 92 is recommended for this vehicle because it's a 1.5 t engine there's a 2.5 t engine as well and again if we just walk around this is the full vehicle in your shot looks really really nice i like the design if you like the design leave it in the comments if you don't leave it in the comments and let us know why you think it is not cool but yeah again some really wide rear view mirrors really chunky handles now let's start from the rear seat before we go to the so the door opens relatively wide it's not 90 degrees but hey opens really really wide and this is very nice chunky op op door open lever and you have your um, controls here for opening and closing the window you have some nice door pockets not lined with felt just plastic but really nice high quality plastic and then you have this retractable sort of seat build material here as well which pulls out and and goes back in tightens back up when you let it go so you can just leave bottles or things like that that will fit there for easy access that's really nice and to access the vehicle there is this relatively nice area where you can stand to get in the vehicle because it's quite high i like that they did that and you also have your seats right here so it's three seats and the rear seat you get isofix isofix points on both extreme ends and overall you get some really nice space here in the vehicle so I like that the seat is not too low it's raised quite high so my thighs have a place to rest comfortably so and the seats are kind of comfortable as well so for long journeys you're not gonna feel too tired it feels really really good now let's look up here and see what the passenger has so you have some really nice grab handles get a button a real button for turning all your lights on and off so it's not going to fail i like that 
all these touch sensitive things that are being done nowadays and then you have some nice door pockets not very wide but you can fit some necessities in there the middle seat is quite narrow but it should do the job for not too long distances but when i shut the door really nice handle to shut the door very practical closes with a really nice thumb so that's really cool and it's also got this grab handle here for easy entry and exit you got a abs there abs on the c pillar so abs all around and it's got this panoramic sunroof so from the front all the way to the back and that's really really nice and headroom headroom is good as well i've got about one fist or maybe two two fists of headroom as a 180 centimeter tall person so that's really really nice the panoramic sunroof is going to allow a lot of light in there but you can shut the shut the blinds when you don't want to and the panoramic sunroof opens as well so it's going to allow a lot of fresh air and light in there got some speaker grills here speaker grill down there and you also got like air vents here for the rear passengers so that's really really neat and down here you have one USB A old school charging port so overall as a a tall person I feel really really comfortable because this car is higher uh, let's move on to the front seat and show you what is in the front so opening the front door opens quite wide and same thing the same configuration that was in the back is in the front as well for the uh, front passengers and when you step in it's quite high you can install a running board on this vehicle but this is a showroom vehicle so there's no running board but if you think it's you're tall enough to get in easily it's for me it's not a problem because i'm a tall dude but yeah and you have controls for the passenger seat as well some cars don't have that but this does so that's really cool and i can easily get in with my long legs uh, you got a b airbag indicator right here and you got a split system sort of vents that don't tilt up and down but they are split so one for your the lower part of your legs and this one towards your body so that's really nice first time i'm seeing that and you've got this pocket like you got you have in the jeeps and the range rovers and other brands you can actually just leave something here something that you easily access and it can also double as a handle as well because it's very solid and tough when you're off-roading or something and you have a glove box which is relatively big and deep like that it's not lined with felt it's just some really nice quality smooth plastic but should do the job and i like that they put all these sort of screws here makes it look really really nice there's this nice aluminum metal trim here you got your visors this one is covered in plastic but i'm sure when you open it you're going to have lighting and as a passenger this is what you're seeing so let me move on to the driver's seat so i can show you the other side of the vehicle as a driver now moving into the driver's seat you get um obviously the controls for the driver you have this aluminum door trim here and you've got all the controls for your windows opening closing fold windows window lock adjustment of your rear view mirrors and all those goodies and you've got some vents here as well which is really good and if you look at the driver's seat you get the controls here as well some sort of lumber support adjustments there and I start from here so from the driver's side you can see some uh, lighting increase or decrease the light height um, traction control hill descent all those functions put right there conveniently so if you're, if you're sitting here you can actually see them you don't need to bend down to see them and if you look at the display or for the driver is a color display it's going to project a lot of good information on the screen for for you as a driver and you have your drive indicators here you might not see it but it's a p there's an r there's an n and there's a d so once you engage the gears it's going to indicate very brightly here 
on this upper screen for you to see and you have your bait driving data right here and you have the infotainment screen the main one here which is of a very nice size not too big not too small and it has very small bezels so but it looks really 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 nice it looks really well designed and well built and you have buttons something that is very rare nowadays so on this in this vehicle you have like re real buttons so you have got your hazard you got your ac and all the other fan speed and all that you got your other events here and if you look down here you got usb a still going old school probably because this car is tailored is gear is um, targeted towards adventure drivers you got old school 12 volt socket and you get wireless charging pad for convenient charging heated seating um hand brake electronic parking brake a hill um start stop automatic stop when you have the stop lights so there's controls here for the driver and heated seats for the other passenger as well through this button and you have your parking uh camera and you have boot opening that's really cool and this is your mode selector so you press it for auto and you can dilate for other functions and this is your gear selector really really unique design so you got a p here for parking r n d m manual and drive and you got cup holders right here and to access the center console you press this button it opens up and there's a tray here but you can take the tray off and you can have a deep storage compartment here but if you don't need it just close it off and also just put this things that you easily access there there's a nice hook here for maybe your license or some other things that you use on the go so and if you look up here you have a compartment for your glasses that's really really nice for those sunny days and you got your light controls here as well opening the panoramic roof and all that you got your you can actually talk to this car to do basic functions like opening the windows and things like that but you also get a call assistance button here you get this button here to control when the door is open the lights the interior lights or ambient lights turn on so overall that is it for the Havel Hi4 really really nice i like the steering wheel and it, it, it's of a really nice size i would prefer it to be a little bit higher but uh, this is the highest it will go you can adjust it down here but i've already tried and this is the highest it will go and you have your controls here i'm pretty sure they'll be back late uh when it's dark or at night so it can give you some nice um so you have two ways to shut the door you can either pull this one or you can grab here just really cool but my preferred way will be like this closes with a nice thumb and it's relatively quiet in this car it's a you sit high up and it's, it makes you feel like you're king of the road and you can actually see part of the bonnet so that that makes it really really nice you can see where the car is going or where the front of the car is all right guys so that's it for the Havel Hi4 adventure off-road vehicle that Havel has in their showroom you might want to take a look at it if you have it close to where you live but if you don't have it just enjoy this video and i hope this was of value to you thank you so much for watching i'm truly grateful if this is your first time seeing my channel do me a favor like the video and subscribe to the channel and feel free to go through my channel i have tons of videos for on motorcycles and cars and evs as well all right, thank you once again. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. Right legal, right safe. Peace and I'm out.